Hello MechWarriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Hell Spawn Paralyzer. I wanted to play something mobile and something stealthy and that's exactly what we are going to do. We are going to take a mech that has ECM, a good chunk of mobility and that is also running stealth armor. As you can see we have six energy hard points filled with medium X pulse lasers and for a little bit of extra spice I added some rocket launchers. So this mech is technically capable of moving behind the enemy's lines, drop the rockets into the backs of the enemies while also shooting the medium X pulse lasers very quickly and if the enemies are not, um, yeah, not aware if they are a little bit slow on their reaction you can actually kill them it doesn't matter what it is i played a test game and i was like okay let's go canyon network there's a sniper kodiak i'm gonna go for it and i killed him instantly might have also been like gauss explosion so that was probably some extra damage coming from that but it worked and then i was like okay this build technically works Man, I was struggling so hard pulling that specific thing off and that is for multiple reasons. First of all, um, we were playing a bunch of like uh, skirmish missions today where like there was lots of murder ball, there weren't that many singled out enemies and then secondly, a lot of people were just following me. I'm not, I mean, I'm fast, I'm running 108 kph so it's possible to get behind the enemy's lines unseen with stealth armor uh, by not being on their sensors. However... If you have a whole train of mechs following you, that is a whole different story. Then they're like, oh wait, that, that's everybody there. Let, let's go for them. Then I cannot backstab. So it, it works. Watch the second game. This is kind of somewhat what I wanted to try. Uh, it didn't work completely, but it was still good at working. If you want to play a build that is similar to that, which is actually a decent build, not like the rocket shenanigans that I'm trying to do here. Drop the rockets all together, get yourself a double heatsink or two, and all of a sudden you have an okay heat management for these six medium X pulse lasers. You gotta manage the heat a little bit, because as soon as your stealth armor is on, you're completely shielded from the enemy sensors. However, your cooling is impaired massively. So every now and then you gotta disable your stealth armor to be able to cool down, ideally in cover, and then go in again. You can enable stealth or just use your ECM that's also absolutely fine and absolutely working. You could also just say, I, I don't want to have stealth, and you go for Light Pharaoh. You have another half ton that you can use for maybe another jump jet that you slap on the mech. Um, or maybe you even drop two jump jets to get another heatsink in here. Say you want only one jump jet for some baseline mobility to get up the ridges a bit quicker. That is also totally an option. This thing is good. This thing is actually actually a nice um, yeah, skirmisher, flanker, that is able to pump out a good amount of damage when there's a big team fight going on. And and uh, I do very much like this guy here. Now let's take a look at the skills before we dive in. As you can see, we went for a cooldown, heat gen, and a little bit of range. These were leftover points, and it's actually nice to have them because it enables us to be a little bit further away from our enemies when we are shooting them. I also went for laser duration. And uh, by the way, if you really care about your DPS, let me quickly show you the medium X pulse lasers. They have a cooldown of 0.25 seconds and a duration of 0.25 seconds. So it's basically the same. So we shoot every half second and like a new beam is coming out every half second. Um, however, when looking at the skills here and you're like, ah, I don't know what to invest into, laser duration uh, makes that kind of cooldown cycle uh, faster than, than cooldown because we have a reduction of uh, 3.75 per node instead of 0 0.75. So this is more efficient when you have the same numbers on cooldown and duration then you obviously take the higher number which uh, reduces it even further. Um, but yeah, we also got some skeletal density and armor hardening here. I was going for heat shielding which is extra cooling for me because I want to jump a little bit and you know the less uh, heat we use when jumping the better it is and then cool run and heat containment because the make is extremely hot very very hot so you gotta manage your heat somehow uh, seismic sensor for knowing what's going on around us and uh, i have the enhanced ecm systems it's kind of important as soon as you run ecm these are mandatory uh, if you ask me and yes i took a little bit of radar deprivation because sometimes you might get hit by like a stray ppc or so your stealth is uh, disabled and then you want to rely on your radar deprivation to break the enemy slugs and you know not let them know where you are we got one consumable value point here uh, i guess you could go for more dropping the range nodes into this but again i really do value the range today um maybe another cool shot would be nice but that's up to you that is it guys this is the build a quick side note after the second game i was like man i want to play more but then the stuff happened i couldn't really get another one so two games instead of three although i was hesitant um but yeah 
that's the build i wish you all a lot of fun and if you have that don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield Alrighty guys, first game of the day. We're gonna instantly enable stealth and we are trying to get behind the enemy's lines. We are playing Caustic Valley here, we are playing Assault and I, I don't know, this is not a good map for me. I kind of hope that we can uh, sneak upon the enemies by just moving all the way around. But we might, um, yeah, we, we might fail our plan because our Locust Pirate Spain has probably the same idea that I have. And we are relatively slow when it comes to getting to the back line of the enemies. But hey, we will see. Maybe we can we can bank on our friends softening up the enemies for us a little bit and getting their backs open and then we can sneak in and just finish the job at some point. But I don't think we get that first surprise, one guy is down in the very early game uh, situation going. I don't think it's gonna happen here on this map in our particular setup. Also, since I'm going all the way... Um, yeah, my, my friends are cutting across and that is a bit of a problem. Yeah, I should have maybe gone with them. We are not the super fastest here. We completely yeah, rely on being somewhat enemy. mobile and unseen by the enemy. They are also NASCARing, by the way. Yeah, I don't really want to start like a like a full NASCAR fight. I want to be in the back of the enemy. Uh, and this is kind of like counterproductive, what we are doing here. Absolutely counterproductive. Uh. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to tap the base because that's lame. I don't want to do that. Um, please don't draw attention to our spot because I want to be behind the enemy and I want to be alone. Leave me. Let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Locus is fine, but the other guys leave. Stay. No. Go. Go away. <laughs> yeah, this is my target. There we go. Hello. Oh, oh wait. Don't, don't engage on it yet. No, not yet. Ah. Ah. Freaking hell. Uh, we could have gotten such a nice backstrike out there. All right, we're gonna disable stealth again, and I guess we're gonna fight these fools now. Ah, I'm unfortunate. I'm just, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I was targeting the wrong guy. I thought uh, the shield was already down, but now it is. Override. Now that's a thing. Okay, so. Toasty boy is toasty, and yeah, we couldn't get the first kill with our initiation thing that we wanted to do. It's sad, but hey, the mech can still deal some damage otherwise. I'm gonna go a bit closer before I start engaging, wanna, eh, wanna deal optimal damage. So that didn't happen, uh, let me just oh, enable stealth again and try... Still going. Oh, okay. Uh, and try to get something going. But you know what? I feel like stealth is not doing a lot here. Uh, uh, because we have that we have that murder ball. And we have that dynamic fight now. There are no firing lines that I can sneak behind. Or are they? Yeah, yeah. I'm not here. Yeah, go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I need to cool. Uh. Yeah, there they come. Okay, turn around. I think I need to disable stealth and actually partake in the fight here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We are in a three and four situation. Next on the Arctic. Okay, cool down time. Let's reposition. Cool down, cool down, cool down. I am not here at all. Or am I? Still have my rockets, I'm very well aware. Good back strikes there. Uh, but I need to I, I need to play more in optimal range. That's the thing. I think it's actually time for the rockets, huh? Yeah, it might be. Okay, let's go for this guy. Oh, right on critical. Okay. Okay. This is such a big fight going on here. Everybody is fighting everyone. Okay, it's rocket time. Got it. Okay. Um, the other guy. We have the gargoyle here, which also should be very damaged. Bad shot. But we got more than that. That's the good news. So, our stealth armor meant very little here. Basically nothing. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, he's super fast, man. Okay. Incubus. Uh, Incubus is XL, so very killable. This guy also. Uh, uh, let me go around. I need to take cover. I need to cool. 
Forby can go in again. I mean, I can poke the Centurion a little bit. Is he gonna come around? Yes, he is, and he has an Ultra Auto Cannon 20 that I don't want to make contact with. Ha ha ha. Oh, he got my friend. Yep. Um, Centurion is in Delta 5, guys. Be aware. Okay. Let's try to help out with the cent uh, with the Incubus, I guess. Hey guys, talk more. New target acquired. Um, yes, Incubus. Okay, we got this guy. Uh, he's light engine Incubus. Interesting. Heat critical. I cannot do it. Thank you, friends. Thank you. So, um, ten and eight. I need I need to cool down so bad, man. Oh, there's another light make right here. It's a large X pulse locust, and we need to engage now while he's busy with my friend. Uh, but I'm cold again, so we can. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Leg is almost gone. Uh, yeah, please play Ring Around the Rosie with me. Please, I need to cool. I need to cool so bad. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm actually happy. Actually? Stealth on. Stealth on. Turn around. Where's he at? He's gone. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's a 10 and 10 situation. Uh, what about my stone? He's in Delta 5. Delta 5, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Maybe I should turn stealth. Let's turn it off. Okay, there he is. Yeah, I need that info. Uh, they know. They know, they know, they know. Okay. There's the light mech. They're gonna come around. He has the range of a large X pulse laser, and I do not, which is a problem. So, our friend up here is still there. I'm gonna try to attack him. Uh, I'm almost there on the sniper guy. Um, okay, let me let me try. He should be hot, but I'm also generating a lot of heat. Don't care about base right now. Hello, my friend. What are you? Shadowhawk. I'm gonna try to take his side torso. But not like this, we need to cool once more. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. Heat level critical. Ah, it's not looking great. Come on. Cannot do it. Cannot do it. Too greedy. Too greedy, I thought I could. I wasn't able to bring it to the end. I mean, my core, I, I, I was just panicking. My core was open. I, I maybe could have twisted it a bit uh, and stayed a little longer in the fight. I was like, I'm gonna go for him now or I'm dying anyways. So therefore that. All right, wasn't great, but, um, oh, oh man, he did it. He did it. The Stone Rhino is so damaged though that our long range friend uh, can totally do it, right? Unless we get some crits here. Come on, hit him once. Hit him once. Nah, GG guys. Yeah, good job. Good job there. Ha! I need to rewatch that. I don't know how much structure I actually had left in the center torso. I could have splashed it, probably. Most likely. But hey guys, we dealt 700 damage in this encounter. And again, this is not a DPS build. We are a one-shot backstabber, which didn't work here. But we still Somebody stayed in the fight for so long and did so much. Sadly, it wasn't enough in the end. I was so damn close. But hey, that was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty guys, second game of the day. We are playing the Termaline Desert. We are playing Skirmish and honestly there is no good particular way to get to the enemy's backline fast and out again. That's the thing. So I don't know, we might end up in another team fight, but I will certainly try to get things going here. So I think what we are going to do here is the following. We will move hard into the Echo 6 area. Uh, Echo 6 into Echo 7 maybe. Try to get around the enemy and uh, maybe get the high grounds. Uh, stay there for a while and, and listen. <laughs> That's just it. Do we take Death Valley? Is that a safer approach? Yes, but Echo 6, Echo 7 is the faster approach. So let me move around here and just hope. I'm just crossing my fingers right now that I'm not getting seen, that I'm not getting spotted. So here we go. Um, staying close range, probably not a good idea. Enemies might still cross from there to here. Oh boy, oh boy, I want this. Okay, okay, are we fine? Are we fine? Is it jump jets, jitter, uh, jet stuff there? 
Oh, I think we made it. I think we made it, guys. Now we just need to get up here. Oh boy. Oh boy. We have jets as well. All right. All right, all right. We are, we are in a good spot now. We are behind the enemy lines. Now we just need to find people like this guy. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, hold the firing line, guys. Hold the firing line. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go for the blood asp. Okay, he turned around. <laughs> what are we doing with it? Nothing. Absolutely nothing, guys. Let's uh, cool down a bit. But hey, look at the damage we dealt. <laughs> okay, let's let's leave it at that. If he turns around, he's gonna die. Because we are here still. He's not dying. <laughs> yeah, he is now. All right, fine. I, I think... Did we get him? Did we? Stealth on. Stealth off. We need to cool. Oh, yeah. Let's regroup. Let's rather regroup. The Mad Cat. Um. Okay, okay, okay. I missed my jump. I completely missed my jump. But hey, we got friends pushing in. Come on, guys. Help me out. This is the blood ass still. Uh-huh. It's fine. What is what is wrong here? Where are my where are my big boys? I thought the assault mech was pushing in the gargoyle there. No? <laughs> we invested so much, but it was worth it. Totally worth it. Uh, the good news is uh, the blood asp is half dead. You know what? I'm gonna try to actually secure the kill on this guy because I deserve it. Yeah. And now on the mad cat, who is also getting surrounded. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the goyle. Come on. We got the other kill as well. Oh, yes, it worked. It wasn't a one-shot kill, granted. Uh, I was a bit off with my aim, and he reacted very fast. Um, that, that was good on him. But hey, we infiltrated the enemy's lines, and we came out of it alive. And now I just even don't care about stealth anymore. Actually, wait, I could. I could totally care about it. Um, we know that enemies are on the other side now, here in the Echo 5 area, and we are obliterating. Let's go. Uh, let me see. Just not being on the enemy sensors is actually helpful while we are closing in and, you know, moving in as a team. Uh-huh, we are 7 and 3. People are coming in now. Actually, I want to get overviews. Overviews and overview. Okay. When he's turning the back, we're gonna shoot him, obviously. Good old attacks of opportunity, they exist. Um, you're getting shot there, but there was another guy here, I know. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Shall we go up high? Oh, there he is. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Turning around then. Where are you, my friend? Below. Okay. Side torso. We got it. The other side torso. Yeah, we got him as well. Derby side torso. Ah, the heat. Eh, shut down. No, I'm not gonna go for it. All right, let's go down. Let's not overheat. If this game is not over. We can still maybe get another kill. Uh, there is one guy up here. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of skirmishing, skirmishing about on the on the big on the big structures up there. How do we get up there again? I I rarely go up there, so I have actually no idea. Wait, there is uh, like a platform here or ramp where you can jump up. Okay, let me see. It is not the absolute last guy, by the way. Okay, yeah, this is it. Zip these up. Jump up. Here we go. Maybe we can actually snatch that. Oh, there's another guy here. Okay. And when I say the other guy, I mean this guy has already dropped. Where did the light mech go? Ah, firing blind here. I'm on top of him. Death from above. Can we? Nah, we couldn't. So the other guy is a javelin and he dropped on the other side of this rock and he's almost getting legged. Uh, maybe he's moving my way. Mm. No, he's disengaging the other side. Okay, I'm stuck. Damn it. I was really hoping that I get some momentum going. Ah, come on. Get over here. I'm greedy. Let's lag him. Get the other leg. No, not me, but we initiated and we won the fight.
Yes. So that was fun. That was really good. Yeah, my, my aim was not, not good. But you know what? Maybe I'm going to give you another round here. Um, it really depends. I'm, I'm going to sit down now. But if not, um, that might have been the end here. Let's see. We got uh, three killing blows. We got 534 damage done. We have uh, seven components destroyed. And yeah, that has been it for today. Um, maybe. We'll see. If you are still here, guys, and I'm also here, then please leave a rating now and subscribe to the channel. And uh, maybe it is. Maybe not. I might sit down and record another one.